Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. It's about 10 a.m. on Saturday morning, and I'm going to take you through a Saturday in my life as an entrepreneur. Um, it's not going to be very glamorous, but I want to show you what I do, take you to the warehouse, explain some updates. Um, yeah, show you that. So right now I am actually picking up Codex toys. Yesterday was his birthday. Um, so we got tons of new toys. So I'm picking out before I leave really quick. And the lighting was really good right here. So I was like, huh, I'll record a quick video. So hopefully you find this a little bit interesting, but let's get in the car and go to the warehouse. Okay, so hopefully this camera thing works and you can hear me. I am on the way to our warehouse right now. It is in Pineville, North Carolina. And it's about 15-ish minutes from my house max like 12 15 minutes but as you might have known we have outgrown it so we cannot fit in it anymore there it's just it's chaos absolute chaos so we are moving in about one to two weeks to a bigger spot and i'm super excited it's gonna be a little bit farther of a drive it's in indian trail north carolina if anyone is from the charlotte area i am super excited though so today is Saturday and I'm going to the warehouse. Usually I try not to go to the warehouse on Saturdays because, you know, balance. But since we're moving, I had product, I thought I had shipped it to our current warehouse, but I had shipped it to my, like my house. So it didn't show up yesterday when we needed it. So I had to pick it up from my house this morning and now I'm taking it to the warehouse. We're gonna add in its matches. We're gonna add them into the boxes that need them because we went ahead and like put them together. They just need the matches added. Um, so we'll do that, pack everything up, make the labels, haul them into the car, and then take them to the post office. And hopefully we can get there by 12. It's gonna be a little bit of a, uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. I'm gonna have to push it, but we'll see if we can do it. We have a few post offices close to us. One of them closes at 12. That one's a little bit smaller and sometimes we run into issues with it because it is smaller and they can't handle all of our packages. But I'm really, I guess, good friends with them. They know me. Um, they're who do our daily pickups because we like request USPS pickups every day. So I just like go to the back dock of the post office and they have a doorbell so I can like hit the doorbell and they come out to the back of the cart and we can load everything up there. Uh, that way I just don't have to do like so many trips going inside like the front door and they have people just trying to send like one package like normal people in the post office. So I'm gonna try to get there by 12 but if not I'll have to go to a different one that doesn't close until 3 and that one just is always packed. There's lines around the building and it's just super inconvenient for trying to drop off 50 packages at a time. So that is what we're doing. Um, I might stop and get some breakfast. My New Year's resolution is to like not eat out as much because I'm really bad about just like stopping somewhere on the way to the warehouse every day and then ordering lunch. Um, but me and Josh are going on a little coffee date after the warehouse, so I'll probably wait and then eat a little brunch. Then. So we'll be at the warehouse in just a little bit and I will check back in with you. So I just got to the warehouse and locked the door if I'm here by myself, especially on a Saturday. Um, that is not my car, that's our neighbor's car. I don't drive a truck. Um, usually there's no one around here, so I just feel a little bit better if I lock the door. I can never remember the condition that I left the warehouse, so it's always afraid, like, what am I gonna see when I walk in? So this is our office area. It started out as like a break area with like our couch, our fridge, our microwave, um, and my office, so I had a desk in here, but then we ran out of room in the warehouse, so we had to move all of our vinyl in here, cause like everything's personalized, so we have like a vinyl station, so now the vinyl station is behind my desk. Um, and then it's also where UPS and FedEx and everyone else brings our boxes. So it's like receiving office, break room, all of the above. Um, so it's a very little small area. We have a bathroom, we have our calendar. Um, yeah, so this is the office part and I'll might give you a little sneak peek into the warehouse part. It's a little scary, but we'll see. So first things first, you have to turn the lights on. It's back there behind this pallet. Um, so you kind of have to squeeze back there and then squeeze through here. These are both 50 pound boxes of wax. So I can't really move them. So you have to go through there. And then we have this heater because we don't have heat in the warehouse. Um, so we turn that on and P1 means I need to drain it. So, you know, I really need to put a disclaimer on this. like not professional YouTuber, does not know what she's doing. Um, 
you're kind of learning, growing with me. I've never done YouTube before, so we're just trying it out. These first few videos are kind of like practice videos. Um, can't even see my head whenever I stand up. So these are the matches that we need to put in all of these boxes. So I'm gonna make the labels for these and we're gonna stick the matches in it, stick fresh succulents in it because all of these gift, box have, gift boxes have succulents. They are our um, Just Because gift boxes. So it's a candle, succulent, matches, and hair ties. So here are the matches. They're from Hooray All Day. We love Hooray All Day. The best matches, um, little colorful matches. So I'm gonna make the labels. We're gonna stick them in here and we should be good. So I made it to the post office in time. It's about 11.30 right now. I kind of had to stop recording and put my head down and do some work. Uh, usually I would go to the back of the post office, but I don't have too much today. I have like 20 boxes. So I'm just gonna take them inside. And I always have to give myself a little pep talk before I go in because they really don't like me. They're always like, you're here. I'm like, I'm trying to help you out here. So pep talk, Haley, you've got this. Um, you are running a business and you're just dropping off your packages. There's no reason for these old grumpy men to be rude. So I'm gonna mask up and go in. That's an entrance. <laughs> um, so I am home now. I went to the post office, came home, then we went and got coffee, went out to Target, spent more time than playing at Target, um, which obviously that happens. I got, let's see, I'll show you what I got. This has been all over TikTok. I am a sucker for some TikTok trends the Dawn Power Wash. So I'll give that a try. I got Neutrogena Hydro Boot. I just, I live by this stuff. My face is so dry. I got new toner. Don't know if anyone's ever tried this, but I'm gonna give it a try. I am no beauty person whatsoever. Then I got this exfoliator. I really like the packaging. I'm also a sucker for some good packaging. So it's from Versed. Can you see that? try it out see how it is i got some hangers because always need good hangers should have gotten home goods for those though and then screws to hang art hopefully in the new office so yeah that is a day in my life it is about five o'clock now i think four or five o'clock um so i'll eat dinner and then probably sit on my computer for a few hours, responding to emails, researching stuff. We have a lot of new products coming out, so I'm super excited. And that, it just doesn't feel like work. Like, it's fun to me, so I don't mind spending my Saturday night um, researching stuff because I think it's fun. Uh, we should have a few samples of new stuff coming in this week. Working on a lot of big launches, and just very excited. I'll keep you updated with that. But yeah, so that's a day in my life. Someone asked me how I structure my day, and absolutely no structure. There's type A, type B. Type A is structured, type B is not so structured. I am whichever one is not so structured. So it's hard to have structure in my day because things always change, like packages don't come in or supplies I need don't come in or um, there's just always something. I have to take a call with this person or now I have to talk to this person or now I have to figure out my taxes or like there's just always something new that I have to do. Like Friday, I had my whole day planned out and then I forgot I had to pay my estimated quarterly taxes. So I spent four hours trying to figure out how to do that, how much I owe. Um, so there's just always something. So it's hard for me to have structure in my day. Like I always make a to-do list of like, okay, I need to do these three things. Like these are the most important things that I need to do. So that helps. But other than that, it's just kind of like, there's really no, I'm not really a morning person. I'm not really a, Get up at 6 a.m., eat your breakfast. I try to be, I'm usually up by like 7, 7.30. Um, and at the warehouse by 8. But there's really no, nothing crazy to it. So hopefully that was interesting. A little bit more casual. A little bit more of showing you what I do. Taking you along with me. You got to see the warehouse. So let me know if you have any questions.